Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing today? Uh, fine, I think. Okay. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay. Finally, it's Friday. Be happy. So, just two hours here and then you are free. Just survive two hours. Survive two hours, yes. I'm really sorry. Uh, the, probably at this time that we want to rest, right? But... No, no, because I think it's beginning me, yeah, a flu. I don't know, but oh. I have some um, uh, congestionamiento. Mm, you feel symptoms that you are mm -hmm. going to get the flu. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I understand. Well, try to take medicine. I already take uh, anti flu -less. Ah, okay. Good. Yes, try to take medicine and also uh, protect yourself from, uh, air, for example, for example, for... Uh, the rain. The rain, uh-huh. Uh, don't go out. Don't go outside at night because mm -hmm. uh, it changed the weather. Um, What else? Maybe you can drink a tea. I will do. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Welcome, guys, to this class. This is a class 24. So on Monday, we have the class 25, and that is the last one. On Monday, we're going to work in the final exam, okay? Today, we're going just to complete the homeworks that we have for the section four. And on Monday, the final exam. And we are going to review the unit four on Monday. That is the, the last class for this model. And then you're going to switch. You're going to change the model or you're going to pass to model number two, intermediate two. Okay, very good. So, Today is Friday, September the 22nd, 2023. For today, we have the lesson uh, uh, objective. We have uh, also the topic that is about the importance of training programs. And at the end, we're going to have a conversation related to that. Good. Um, at the end of this lesson, the students will be able to Will be able to design a basic checklist to evaluate effectiveness or of a staff training. Okay, so so let me a moment. Okay, I was checking messages from one of your classmates. Okay, we have the first activity here. We're going to have a review about pressing. Pressing continues. Okay. Uh, for example, number one. Okay, we're going to complete the scrambled sentences. How will be uh, if you order the sentences, uh, Rodrigo? They are eating in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Very good. That will be the correct way. They are eating in the kitchen. Okay, very good. Gilberto, tell me one number. Okay. Seven. Number seven. Okay. That is a question for you. What do we need to add to the verbs when we use present progressive? Present continuous is the same with present progressives. What do we need to add to the verbs when we use present 
what do we need in to ask to the better when we use present progress? Present progressive. ¿Qué le agregamos a los verbos? Los verbos que están en... A, N, G. I, N, G. ¿Ok? I, N, G. Correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much. Ok. Uh, Hazel, are you available? Yes, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today, Hazel? I mean, my recovery, but I'm I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, I understand. I hope that um everything is okay this weekend. Good. Thank you. Tell me one number. Um, four. Four. When do we use the present progressive? Do you remember? I really don't remember. Uh, yeah. Maybe when. Yesterday, I told you some examples in situations when we use the present progressive. No, I don't remember. Sorry. Someone that who wants to help her? Uh huh. Teacher, the the unit the present progressive. Uh, the hard, the when the situations that we use present progressive. Uh, the situation. Uh huh. Uh, in the in the case when two said one moment okay to indicate what is happening at the moment uh -huh. and also to indicate what is going to happen in the future okay yes yeah. Okay. okay, okay, good. Uh, but what is already planned? Okay, lo que ya está planeado. Uh, what, what is going to happen in the future, but with the plans already done. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Andres Martinez, are you available? Andres? Kathy Beseda, are you available? Yes. Okay, Kathy, tell me one number. Sorry, teacher. Okay. I'm available, but I, I can turn on the, the, the microphone. Ah, okay, no problem. You're going to participate after Kathy. Kathy, tell me one number. Ten. Ten, okay. Okay, please order the sent the, the question. Um she is listening to music remember that is a question is How... she is, uh -huh. is, is she listening to music is she listening to music okay very good good thank you so much okay uh now andres give me one number um, 13 Okay, what is she doing, Andres? She's singing. Okay, excellent. Rolando, are you available? Thank you so much, Andres. Rolando Sanchez, are you available? Sorry, teacher, I am driving in the moment. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Um. Let me see, Daniela Lisset. Are you available? Daniela? No? Okay, Maria Leticia, are you there? Yes. Okay. Tell me one number, Maria Leticia. 
Chu. Chu. Mm -hmm. What she is cooking right now? That oh. question is is wrong or is right? Right. Mm, what is your opinion, Rodrigo? Is is wrong or it's right? It's wrong. It's wrong, teacher. Why? Uh, because the correct is what is she cooking right now? Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Yes, Maria Leticia, remember that when is a question, the verb to be will be before before the, the subject, okay? And this, in this case, she is the subject, so will be, is she cooking? What is she cooking right now, okay? Okay. Good. Uh, volunteers for uh, other number, someone wants to participate? Yeah. Roberto, you? Yes, yes, okay. I'm ready. Which number? Uh, number five. Number five. Okay. How do you feel now, uh, Robert? Are, are you are you okay? Do you feel better? I feel uh, a little a little better because um, I can speak. Okay, that is nice. Good. Okay, tell me the correct sentence. It's a scramble at this moment, but you are going to tell me the correct sentence. Scramble. Okay. Um, what? Is Tom playing musical instrument? Okay. What instrument? Let me see. What, what? instrument? What what musical instrument is playing Tom? Uh huh. Because you're going to make that question. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que él está playing? What is what is music in... musical okay. instrument is playing tone? Okay, what what is a musical instrument playing tone? Yes. Okay, thanks, teacher. Very good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, Andres, you will be next. Give me one number. Um nine. Okay. Please for they aren't playing football. The correct statements. Yes, they aren't playing, playing football. football. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Welcome, Carlos Arsenio. Are you available? Hello, teacher. No, no teacher. Uh, I will connect it uh, in other moments, teacher. I have a, a little bit problem here. Okay. It's okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Mauricio Buruca, welcome to this class. What about you? Are you available? Hey, hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Um, well, I will be just listening for a moment. Okay, let me know when you are available, okay? Because um, I will be calling you but let me yeah. know when you are available. Thank you. Volunteers. Thank you. No Thank you. Okay, no problem. Volunteers for number. Okay, Andres, give me another number. Mm, number 15. 15, okay. Okay, and so, and Nahuel is taking photographs now is it wrong or right? It's wrong. And so and now is are taking photograph now. Are because they are yeah because they're they. Okay, very good. Yes, because they they are both there are two people. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Another volunteer? Me teacher. Okay, Gilberto, give me one number. Number A. Okay, good. Please um, order the sentence. 
ok Emma is mm -hmm. Emma is reading mm -hmm. book the moment ok no. Emma is Emma reading is reading book a, okay, a book a, a, a book at the moment, moment. At the, at, moment. at the moment, yes. Remember to add uh, that information that will make the complete sentence, okay? You okay. can, yes, that is what I have observed in your sentences, Gilberto, when I listen to you, that you said, yes, for example, Emma is reading book Emma. moment, book moment. So, in, in, yes, I understand your ideas, right? Your main ideas, yes. Um, we can understand what you want to say, right? But we are missing like that that uh, specific words or uh, articles that made a complete sentence, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Be careful with that. Okay, good. Another volunteer? Volunteers, okay, Roberto, which number? Number three. Number three. They are riding a horse now. Is that correct? They are re No. No? It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. Okay. Writing. Writing. That will be the correct way, but it is not necessary the letter E. Yes. En, es en española E, en inglés E, okay? It is not necessary this letter, okay? Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, another volunteer? Okay, we're going to do it together. Number six. Is he playing the guitar? No, teacher. Yeah. No, he's not, right? Uh, okay. No. Okay, good. Number 11. So, is running at the moment? So it's running at the moment. Wrong or right? It's wrong. It's wrong. Why? It's the wrong is in the bar running. Okay. What will be the correct spelling? It's in... W N. W N. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Number 12. What are they doing? It's a question for you. They are playing soccer. They are playing soccer. Good. Yes, they are playing soccer. Okay, good. Now number uh, 14. <laughs> Is he eating a sandwich? Let me see. No. Subway? No. 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 Burger. No, it is like a hot dog, I guess. Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Like a... It's big. <laughs> like a Subway, I it's think. Sí, Subway. It is similar, yes. Yeah. There is a kill, a kill child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Barack Obama. Okay, very good. Good. Thank you so much. Yes, very good. So I can see that you have clear when we use present progressive. 
Okay, uh, and what do we need to add to the verb to make it present progressive? The form that we that we create the sentences or questions and how we answer a question when we are using present progressive. Okay, good job. Thank you so much for your participation there. We're going to continue. Okay, now we're going to continue talking about trainings, okay? Yesterday we were talking about or like um uh, trying to identify, right, what kind of areas employees need to to improve and why is necessary to prepare a training. Today we're going to talk about um how do we evaluate the trainings, okay? A training implemented only to correct problem with, with employee performance, yes or not? What is the main purpose of a, a company that implement a training? What is the main purpose? Improve the job, teacher, the In work. Mm -hmm. improve uh, employees' performance, right? That is the main purpose, that they do it, that they work in in the correct way, They that they do the correct procedures. Okay, good. Uh, how do you evaluate effect the effectiveness of training? Mm-hmm. supervise after the training after the training supervise the work that develop the employees okay after the training we need to supervise how they work how they continue uh improving their performance or not okay so the effectiveness of the training means yes if that has been useful for them or not. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to read this training evaluation. Read the following uh, excerpt about the importance of evaluating the effect of training programs. And then we're going to discuss, discuss the questions below. Uh, training evaluation, asking your employees what they thought of the training is an important part of the evaluation of the development program. A training evaluation questionnaire that the, tra that the trainees fill out upon completing the program is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey, okay? Through email or checklist or quest or questionnaire, right after the training is over. Okay, good. A trainee survey focusing on the application of the new skill. Once your workers have started using then measures that effectiveness of the training program. Co companies must combine such information with the objective evaluations to get complete picture of training results. Okay, good. Um, tell me, reading this this piece of uh reading, okay, valga la redundancia. Um, what? What is your opinion or your summary about this? Mm -hmm. I can read, teacher, that in the paragraph said that uh, make a, like a questionnaire mm -hmm. from the employees that receive the training. Okay. At the end, we want to evaluate 
how they feel, if they like it, if they enjoyed uh, the methodology used for the training, if they consider that has been uh, useful for, for uh, their performance or to improve what they are doing, right? Everything we need to include in the survey or in the checklist or questionnaire, any any of them. So they they are similar. That is to evaluate to evaluate not only the trainer who has been giving you the training, okay, not only the trainer, but also the content, okay, el contenido, the content of the training, the topics, okay, or procedures that has been done during the training, okay. That is the main purpose of that uh, survey, okay? Then we have three questions here. What are some alternatives to evaluate trading? Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate your training or your trainees in your work? Uh huh? You can use checklists. Questionary. Mm -hmm. What else? And a survey. Yes. Besides that, what else we can use? Can we use? In my case, teacher in my company, after the training, we visit the position and we make like a practice exam. But just if they can put the bullets in the whip inside of the weapons, not to shoot, just you know, if they remember how to do the, the, pro the process, this process. Mm. Okay. Good. Yes, that is a, a brief test, right? Just to make sure the level of... Um, knowledge that was get that was gotten during the the training right yes good that is another way to evaluate a training to see the result of the exam okay good how do you measure the the effectiveness of the program uh huh uh, when you when well in my case case when you do a like a test mm -hmm. with uh, if the m in this case if the employee uh, got all the knowledge that that he or she uh, uh, got it in, in, in I think about uh, three months of trial. Uh, we do uh, some type of test, uh, like an exam, uh, writing an exam, and uh, we evaluate, uh, also we evaluate with KPIs, uh, if, the, if the knowledge acquired in, in those three months, and if the person with with his or her aptitudes a uh, match for the maybe for the uh, workplace okay good thank you so much uh, rodrigo someone else who wants to participate answering this the question number two how do you measure the effectiveness of the program Or, or question number three. We have a, an evaluation in each training, but the best um, measure is when we have, we must have a measure, uh, sorry, uh, an improvement result. We have to, to see that in the activity of the agent. Okay, good. 
Yes, that, that answered the question number three, right? That says, why should company combine the results of training and evaluation of the training, right? The result of the trainings means like uh, scores, right? You can, you can uh, take into account the scores of the trainees in the exams and also uh, the result in it could be a role play doing a role play about what the process that they have to do or doing a practice right about the process that they have to do so that could be the results of the training and also the evaluation of the training how they evaluate the training so combining both the results and the evaluation yes you can see uh the, the effectiveness of that of that specific program. Okay, good, very good. Uh, any opinion that you may have or or experience about trainings that you have received in your company? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Good. We're going to continue. Um, we have here an evaluation form. Okay. This is a training effect effectiveness evaluation form. Um, that is questions that we can uh, ask to the trainees. Okay. For example, the first one says, how would you treat the overall quality of this training. Okay, we have we have four uh choices: excellent, good, fair, and poor. Okay, the trainee can select one. How well did the trainer keep the session interesting? Okay, uh -huh. How make it interesting? It could be like the tone of voice that the training is using because sometimes uh, if they are using a, a tone of voice that is really soft or low, so maybe that can make you lose the attention in the training and you get a, get a sleep, right? Um, that is one problem that we can identify but if the session has been interesting so you will be uh all the time paying attention and participating okay the number three says how well did this program accommodate your background and needs uh-huh so it, that that is talking about the the content of the training right so how this program accommodate your backgrounds and needs, okay? Um, number four, it says, how effective were the handout? Do you know what is a handout? <clears throat> uh -huh. No, no I, no, I don't know. No, no idea? Know. No. The handouts are the materials, okay? The printed material that has been provided to you. In Spanish, we call the el folleto. Okay, yeah. so that will be the handout. Also, it can be called booklet. Okay, the other question is how convenient was the location? So the location where you received the training, right? Um, if you had to move to another place, right? Or if that was online, or it was in the company. So how do you evaluate that? And then says the knowledge and skill I gained from this program will be useful in my job, yes or not? Just answer yes or not. And at the end, there is a note that says if yes, if your answer is yes, then list item from the training, okay? List the item from the training that you are going to implement or review when you return to work, okay? What other trainee, 
training would you like management to provide? For example, if uh, you have received a training about secu security in the company, so what other areas would you like to receive on on program? I mean, a training. What areas do you consider that are important in your company? But it's, it's about security or private security, possible um, personal defense. Okay, could be. Uh huh. Good. Or how to handle uh stress could be another another training that it could be useful. Okay, how to handle stress. Um, which other topic do you consider that is interesting? Customer service. Customer service, okay. How to develop good communication skills, okay? Because that will help you to to talk with others, with your with the clients or your co-workers or your boss, right? So how to improve communication skills, yes? Uh -huh. What else comes to your mind? That sales, can be... te sales technique. Yes, Hazel? Sales technique. Okay. Yes. Good, good. What else? Uh, teacher, uh, attention that telephony uh, the company yeah. I'm training I'm, I remember training in the company the attention telephone attention telephonic al cliente mm, okay that will be part also of customer service, right? How how do you handle the calls with the clients? Okay, yes. good. Handle emotions, teacher. Oh, that is another topic that is really interesting. Handle emotions. Okay. How to handle emotions. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, uh, there are different areas right that we can um that we need in, we need knowledge we need to read or we need to receive a training okay that are necessary um well any other topic that comes to your mind so that will be useful for um for the evaluation form that we are going to create because you can you can um, add a specific items to evaluation form, not only general. The ones that we have here are general uh, information, okay? We don't have any specific information here. We have just, it's uh, asking if that has been effective, convenience, it has been useful, uh, if that has been interesting, how do you rate the quality? Uh, okay, how you are going to implement the, the training in your work and other uh, train, training that you, I mean, other areas that you would like to, to, to receive. Okay, <clears throat> good. Um, now we're going to create a checklist, okay? Evaluating a training that you have received in your workplace. You can use the model that we have here, this, this model, and you can add more information. <clears throat> For example, let me see, <clears throat> Rodrigo, when did you receive the last training? Do you remember? Mm, maybe about um, uh, five five months ago. 
Okay. Five months ago, do you remember the topic? A leadership a fundaments. Oh, leadership. That is an interesting, interesting topic, right? Because it means mm -hmm. that, yes, it means that <clears throat> the company is facilitating. Sorry. <coughs> Susana is speaking. <clears throat> yes. It means that the company is facilitating uh tools that maybe you didn't know, right? <clears throat> to handle a group of people, okay? Also, you can have like um uh, better opportunities to grow up in your company with that kind of uh, programs, right? Right. Uh, I received that because, well, uh, it is a part of, uh, of INSA for, so I, I take, I took that and uh, yeah, in that way to, to, to be um, a better leader for the, for the team. Mm -hmm. And also because uh, when you take a, a leadership fundamentals, not, not only you work for your team, but uh, you work for your own confidence uh, to discover uh, to discover much more abilities that maybe you don't know you have it, but but you have it, and also. Uh, and uh, other ways to to apply maybe some ideas uh, some ideas where other people not want or have a fear to apply mm -hmm. yes good 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 ideas uh rodrigo okay guys so you are free to use any program that you that you consider useful to to create this evaluation form Rem try to remember one training that you have received in the past okay and you are going to create that based on that training okay how would you like to evaluate that specific training that you receive you can do it uh in the Google Forms, or you can use Canva, or you can use uh, Microsoft Word, any. Let me see if I can find one template here. For example, let me see, evaluation, evaluation form. Oh, there are, so on oh no but this one you need to pay no let me see other one oh we can use this one if you want <clears throat> okay so mm -hmm. make it bigger <clears throat> Okay, there you have like uh, different options, right? You can change information. Uh -huh. If you want to use this, this template, right? You can, you can select one of them. Or you can use any other. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have questions about how you are going to create the evaluation form? Make sure that you create the correct uh, questions here because uh, that will that will be read by someone, okay? And we'll select the correct rate. Let me create the... Do you prefer to work in pairs or group of three? Sorry, teacher, what was your answer? 
Uh, what, my, was, what was your question? My question, yes. If you prefer work uh, to work in group of three or two? Uh, it doesn't matter, I think. It doesn't matter. Okay. Just let me make sure who is available to to um assign your partner, okay? Andres, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. Roberto Carlos, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Silvia? <clears throat> yes, right. Thank you so much for uh yeah, being there. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for being there. Okay, let me see. And Rodrigo, you will work with with Sylvia, okay? Uh let me see. Hazel, available? Yes. Okay. Julio Paz, are you still as a listener or are you available? Julio. No? Okay. Uh, Gilberto, available? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. You will work with Hazel. Kathy Briseida, available? Yes, teacher. Okay, you will work with uh, Maria Leticia. Are you available, Maria Leticia? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um. Sofia is not available. A lady is not available. Julio didn't answer. Rolando, uh, are you still uh, working? Or let me know if you are available now. <clears throat> not yet. Okay, Mauricio Buruca, what about you? Are you available? Mauricio Buruca? O Mauricio Benavides? No? Okay. Daniela Lisette, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, Daniela. What about you, Carlos? Carlos? Not yet. Okay, well, so in that case, uh, let me see. We have just uh, Roberto and Andres, Rodrigo and Silvia, Gilberto and Hazel, Kathy and Maria. Okay, and Daniela, they are, are going to join to another group. Okay, Daniela. Okay, I'm going to open the rooms. I will give you, I guess, around 20 minutes. Are okay to create it, but I will be checking if you need more time and I will add extra time. Okay. Okay. Miss, yes. Which one is the template that you will be show us for for Canva? Oh, the one that I look for. That was this one. Let me send let me let me send the link. Let me let me verify. Please. If, okay, if, thank you. If you can use it. Let me know if you can if you can check it. You can open that from your computer. <clears throat> Just a moment. there you have it let me see if there is another template that you can use maybe this one maybe uh-huh oh <clears throat> i guess you will have it in the same link i'm sorry i if if you see different options options here is because I was working in this file but there you have it okay okay I will check 
good. Let me open the rooms. If you have questions, please let me know. Partir pantalla para que Teacher, ¿tenemos que hacer un, cuadro, un solo cuadro de evaluación o uno por cada uno? Only one. Ok. Papi, bájale un poquito a eso.
Daniela, try to share your screen. Let me see what you see. Yo pude entrar, pero ¿cómo tenía que poner para buscar la plantilla? Uh, comparta, quiero ver. Uh, ¿Y cómo se comparte? Dele donde está. Captura. No. Donde está una flechita verde. Dele share screen. En Canva. Yes. Ajá, en Canva. Ay, personal. Me salió lo que usted hizo. O no sé quién lo ha hecho. Espérenme. Ahora Ok, si usted le da clic, dele clic um, al último link que envié, ahí le va a salir. Eh... Ajá, me pareció survey, dice. Ajá, esos, esos, son, los, esos son los templates. Con, le doy en compartir. Pero no, no, no es verde la flechita. Ya está compartiendo, let me see. Ya está compartiendo. No, try again. Intente otra vez. Uh, Ahí donde aparece la flechita verde. Dele share screen. Es que no me aparece flechita verde, teacher. Abajo le tiene que aparecer una flechita verde. De aquí de Zoom, Daniela. Ahí a la par donde dice participa entre participantes y aplicaciones, ahí me parece la opción compartir pantalla. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y si está verde. Mm, yo... Dirección del sitio web le doy. No. Es que en Zoom. Uh -huh. A la par donde está el chat, el mute, la camarita, todo eso. Por ahí busque. Ahí dice compartir, pero okay. me dice compartir Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft SharePoint, Google Drive, Box, Foto, Documento, dirección del sitio web, pantalla, cámara y compartir. Pantalla. Pantalla. Aparece compartir pantalla. Le di no. Someone else who can do it, Maria Leticia or Katy? Yes, teacher. Este puede ser cualquier plantilla, pero me ya le ya le. Ahí apareció una una pantalla ahorita. Ay no. Pero es que ya está del celular, está, verdad. Ajá. Ahí está. Ah, ok, ok. Ahí ya está compartiendo. Ok, entonces comparta a alguien mm. que esté en la computadora. Ajá. Ok. Dios mío. ¿Y cómo descomparta? <risa> stop. Ahí tiene que aparecerle stop. Stop sharing. Ay. 
Tenía, tenía, tenía miedo le viéramos todos los chats. Ay, no. A ver si no salgo yo con destorrento aquí. ¿Qué, qué, qué es Are you from a computer, María Leticia? Yes. Yes, yes, okay. teacher. Ok. Good. Okay. Ahí les puse varias plantillas. You can select one. Ok. Y you are going to modify. Van a modificar todo lo que está ahí. Porque esas okay. solo son plantillas. Templates. Ok. Ok. Y okay. es una para las tres en este caso. Yes. For okay. example, select the one that says survey form. Esta que está ahí, una como, como celestita. Selecciona esa. Dele seleccionar. Ah, uh, no, let me see. ¿Dónde estaba? Oh, esa, selecciona esa. O la que usted, la que ustedes crean que es más fácil, ustedes pueden seleccionar la que usted crea que es más fácil. Seleccionela. Personaliza esta plantilla de ley. Vaya, la voy a hacer más grande para que vean sus compañeras. Ahí abajito, dele zoom. Abajo, aquí abajo. Aquí, aquí, aquí. Ese puntito, arrastrelo. Ah, bueno. Ah, ya. Ok, entonces dele clic ahí donde dice, aquí, por ejemplo, la primera pregunta. Aquí. Ajá, y ya puede borrar lo que está ahí y, y editar su pregunta. Uh -huh. Ok, y así puede hacer en todo, ok. Por ejemplo, arriba puede borrar, no, eh, le puede dejar training survey en vez de personal information. Ahí ponga la training survey. Me pedí el texto porque creo que no me escribe ya. Si borró algo y usted quiere regresarlo, daría la flechita esta que este está a la par de, de la nube. ¿O hay una flechita ahí. Ah, acá. Ajá, dele para atrás. Ahí le va a volver a aparecer. Ajá, ya. Ok. Trate de borrar, try to delete it, but at the same time, try, try to write the question, the, the, the word that you want to write. Okay. Trying in medieval. Re, regrésela otra vez. Regrésela así como Ay, la regreso. Para otro lado. Vaya. Vaya borrándola quizás una por una la letra para que no la borre toda de un sol. Click there. Ajá. Uh -huh. One by one, bórrelas una por una. Ajá. Es. Ah, y me da el puntero para escribir. Ajá. Uh -huh. There you can type. Training survey. Training survey. Survey. How do you write survey? No. Survey. De, de, de encuesta. Mm. Oh, you can write tra training form también. Okay. Okay, good. Muy bien. Ahora, in the instructions, you can provide your instructions there. Abajo. And donde dice, ahí, ahí. Try to provide the instructions saying, uh, you can say, answer these following questions about the training. How do you evaluate the training? Okay. Any idea that you want to add there? Okay, pero borre eso. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so your uh, uh, Daniela and Katy, please help 
uh, Maria Leticia with uh, different questions, okay? Try to do the questions right now. Use the evaluation form that, that I gave you as a base. Utilicen esa como base y traten de formular ustedes preguntas si se las van dictando a María Leticia, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Good. I will go to another room and then I will be back. Ok. Ok. Boy, don't you got the problem? Hello, um, are you are you working? Yes, but my computer is shut down, so I mm. recuperate. Oh. Solo que no puedo compartirlo porque yo estoy en el celular y estoy trabajando en la compu. No me cambié porque si no quedaba fuera del grupo. Oh. Okay. Pero okay. sí, estamos utilizando Canva. Canva. Okay, good. So, Gilberto, you can you can support uh, Hazel with questions that you can create. Okay. Sí, teacher. Okay. Sí, así estamos haciendo. Okay, good. If you need help, just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thank you. Mama? In the, in the training, how do you evaluate the food? How did you evaluate the food? Con cuidado. Decía al abrir, que te puede sacar. Sacale un poquito. Sacale. Ahí te lo va a llevar él. How did you evaluate the food? In the training. In the training. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hi. How many sentences? We we doing. Mm, I consider the five with the minimum and ten the maximum. It's okay in a okay. in a <clears throat> evaluation form. Ah, uh, nosotros lo estamos haciendo en en Google. In Google. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Tendríamos que enviar el link al grupo. Ah. Uh, if we have time, we're going to do that. Okay. If no, uh, no. Just, just present the the survey. The yes. The survey, yeah. Yes. Some okay. of them are yeah. working in, in Canva in the in, with the templates that I sent to the group. Okay. Mm -hmm. How okay. did you evaluate, uh, Roberto? Can you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. In the pregunta, how did you evaluate? Like we talk, como habíamos hablado ahí en pasado, how do you evaluate? Yo digo que usted tiene que estar en otro nivel. Yo. Uh -huh, Yo debería. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lo que pasa es que. Sí, yo debería haber estado en otro nivel, pero quizás no había cupo, o sea, no había para llenarlo, así que me dijeron váyanse para allá, váyanse, no, bueno. Pregunta, bueno le... Pero es que quedó un cuarto en Puchica. Entonces, por eso, por eso, andamos aquí, pero...
para mí mejor porque recuerdo bastantes cosas que hacerme bien olvidar. En realidad que sí. <risa> Pero bien. <risa> Eh, Where did you study right. English, Rodrigo, before? Eh, my, es que, well, I received my English teacher. Eh, I studied eh, in Colegio García Flamenco. Oh, eh, and in García Flamenco, when, when I, in, in, in that years, in, in all that years, eh, mm -hmm. I think the... De, de García have a, an alliance with a with an institution of, of uh, USA uh, the institution it is called CCLS uh, so um, they integrate the, their English to the college and from the third grade uh, to uh, bachillerato como high era school? bachillerato the high, high school, school uh, school, we receive that type of English, and that type of English, uh, they they separate uh, uh, the advanced people and the intermediate people. Uh, all the time, I I I stayed in the intermediate people, but when when I go uh, when I I. I Cuando estuve en bachillerato, when I go to the high school, eh, I promote to, to advance. And, and, and so all the exams, all the exam, exams eh, were eh, oral, mm -hmm. not right, only oral. Okay. And so por esa razón es que yo me fogué mucho en inglés. But, Ahora le voy a decir eh, la otra cara de la moneda, teacher. Okay. Él estudió en el IFEM, en el, en el colegio García Flamenco. Y yo estudié en la escuela García Flamenco. Una, una gran diferencia. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. y, en yo poca, lo veo, yo digo, wow. O sea, en en pocas palabras. No, en pocas palabras, en el García sí fue muy exigente el inglés. Muy, muy exigente. Entonces, eh, por esa razón, yo mucho me malacostumbré en el grupo medio. Entonces, siempre salía bien ahí. Ah, no, dijeron, este sí puede. Entonces, mandemos lo avanzado de un solo. Entonces, ahí me terminé de foguear más. Lastimosamente, cuando fui a la U, yo esperaba un inglés. Uy, yo ni sabía qué me esperaba ahí. El inglés que yo fui a recibir a la U fue ir a aprender otra vez el abecedario. Entonces, uh -huh. básicamente yo exoneré los cuatro inglés y como nunca tuve con quién practicar, o sea, nunca lo estuve practicando hasta hoy en mi trabajo, es que digamos nuevamente eh, desempolvado. Entonces, lo que sí uh -huh. me falta mucha práctica en lo oral. En lo demás, no mucho. Eh, detallitos que sí, ahorita desde este, desde este módulo realmente no me acordaba o me confundía. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> but if That's you why. if you realize, uh, Rodrigo, we don't see a lot of grammar, so it is just it is more uh practice practice in in yeah, but in... the adjectives uh, and some kind of uh, that kind of things. I don't remember it or or I have my confuse there. So that's why it is good for me to stay here because when I uh, when I apply to this uh I was notified uh, to to be in intermate I think intermate 4 intermediate but intermediate, intermediate four. 4 but I think no nobody in, in that course so uh, they, they proposed to me uh, to stay intermate too, but I prefer to to go to the first one and complete or the all the intermediate. Intermediate, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It is good because uh, you start um with this group, right, and you will go with them in the in the other courses, and that will help mm -hmm. you to practice. Yes. And and that and this and this is good for me because for my actual job, because I am the purchase manager of the company, eh, 
all the people that I contact, it, it is uh, from outside, especially oh. Asia, Europe, mm -hmm. uh, some kind of U USA, uh, South America, but uh, ninety percent of the people speak English. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is good for me to improve my English, uh, especially the oral and the vo some vocabulary. E, and I'm here. Yes, it is. It is good. You practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes, I used to have a um. It was a it was a private class, but that was uh like two or three years ago someone that was working in uh aeroman mm -hmm. but he, well i didn't know him before he requested mm -hmm. re, he requested private uh classes to to one friend of my friend and he told he told me, okay, I have these students. If you want to take this, uh, if you want to to give classes to him, he will pay you. Um, but that will be only him, right? So, and we used to, yeah, I was with, with him around two or more than two years, but it was just three hours per week. And okay. it, the main purpose was to practice, just practice and practice uh, mm -hmm. reading, reading and speaking. And he told me, okay, thank you so much. At the end, he said, thank you so much. Because, because I, I improved a lot. And now I need, um, I know how to to answer because how to answer or how to, to, to speak with uh native speakers because he they used to speak a lot with native speakers okay and, that's in, that's interesting teacher that's very very interesting <laughs> and i must accept that i need to practice more english uh, in my job i'm the i'm i'm the one and maybe another one or two that we speak um, i think very well the english but because all the rest of the people, mm, no, <laughs> no. Uh, so this is a good advantage for me. This is a good opportunity to, to I think, I, I see it like uh, to, to have much more secure my, my job, my mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. And also, well, tomorrow I decide to, to go another, uh, another job. I have a much more, uh, a much better English than now. Okay, that will be a plus for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. What about you, Sylvia? I uh, I don't remember if you told us, but I don't remember. Where do you work? Uh, in my way, it's essential, the English. Uh, I am the... Uh, well, uh, I customer service uh, I never nationality El Salvador. Uh, I am speak English or Spanish. Uh, my customer, but that uh, is uh, my potential job. Okay. Eh, el detalle es que soy la única gestora a nivel nacional, teacher, que sé sobre el rodamiento industrial. Eh, sería que, que tengo que defenderme a nivel alemán, español, francés. <ríe> sí, y, y medio sé masticar el español, ya no digo en inglés, no sé, o sea, Cada día aprendo una frasecita. El problema es que cuando estoy en clase, eh, normalmente tengo clientes, porque nuestra industria es 24-7. Oh. Uh -huh. Entonces, normalmente me toca salir como tipo 6-7 de la noche. Vengo en camino. A veces digo yo que no voy a encontrar mucho tráfico aquí en la integración, pero ahorita están construyendo una carretera aquí sí. y que normalmente me agarra el tráfico. <risa> 
I understand. Uh -huh. Pero me gusta eh, el inglés, o sea, pero me gustaría que no hubiese clientes en la noche, pero normalmente nuestro trabajo 24-7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, but if you don't have the if you don't have time at the moment of the class, so you have the opportunity later, okay, when you have time to to review the class and uh, review the material, okay, and try to do other activities that you consider that will help you to improve your skills, okay? Yes. If you have interest, Thanks. if you work for it, Okay, you will get it okay it is not english is not difficult english is is easier okay than <laughs> other languages uh okay. i haven't tried to yeah. learn or another language i just tried uh, french but french is more <laughs> okay. difficult italian uh, italian so so uh, in the uh, career I, italian aprendí in como in Twenty nine, ninety nine. O sea, hace mucho aprendí este. Eh, yo me llamo Silvia Estela. Eh, tú cómo te llamas, este. Eh, y y algunas que otras cosas que no se me olvidaron. <risa> okay. Pero es importante. Yo creo que si parto del inglés, aprendo. <risa> con mayor facilidad los otros idiomas. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will try another language other than easier than than French because French is is really difficult. <laughs> I consider that French is similar to Spanish. If uh -huh. you don't know if you don't know Spanish, right? Uh, -huh. uh if your native language is another language, if you try to speak Spanish, that will be difficult because we have a lot of conjugations. And that is the same with uh, French. So and the uh -huh. sound and the sound that they they that that they have to do like <laughs> that is really difficult for me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay, good. You're doing a good job. Okay. Continue doing the same. Thank okay, you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> For the questions for this survey will be five minimum, ten maximum, okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me let me close the yeah. rooms because it's time. Are you ready? I guess yes, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Good morning. Oh. Hello, how are you doing? Oh. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Only two? <laughs> Only two? Eh. Only two? No. Three. No, teacher. Three. <laughs> Three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to give you another five minutes. Okay. But uh, in five minutes, I'm going to close the rooms. Okay. Teacher, tenemos que rellenar el círculo de nuestra respuesta o solo es elaborarlo? Solo elaborenlo. No okay. problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, try to delete the ones that uh, you are not going to to use. Okay. Como? Delete. <laughs> delete. Borren. Las que no van a usar. Los espacios que no van a usar. Por ejemplo, si ustedes hacen solo cinco, borren las otras. Oh, okay. Sí. Lo... Ah, bueno. Ajá. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Okay, good. <laughs> 
five minutes are going to close the, the, the rooms, okay? Okay. okay. necesita. Ah, ah. Sí, le, le crea la duda, ¿verdad? Cabal. Entonces sería, what, what other trainings would you like to deepen? Que sería, ¿qué otra formación o qué otro entrenamiento le gustaría profundizar? Y la sí, respuesta sí. sería, eh, programación neurolingüística o como me dice. ¿Qué me dice? Eh, le decía neuro... Neuro 20. Neuro 20. Sí. No sé qué. Si that have a, a, a translation on, on English. Which one? I'm sorry. Neuroventa. Neuroventa. Sí. Uh, that was the mm. name of the training? Sí. Mm, let me see. A neuro se les nada más. Neuro no se, ajá, no se traduce. Lo que son así. Mm, let me see. Neuro ventas. Neuro cells will be. Oh, oh neuro. Yeah, neuro, neuro cells. Training, ajá. Neuro cells training. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vamos a colocarle yes, más. Um, interesting in now the sale market. In la otra que dijimos son ah, como pongámosle aquí el tema de los comentarios para poner que la ubicación no era conveniente por la distancia. Okay. How convenient uh, was the location? Ajá, eso lo habíamos puesto. Aquí pongámosle algo como, no sé, cómo le ponemos. Falta de, parque, eh, falta de parqueo, ¿verdad? Que ese generalmente son los problemas más recurrentes, ¿verdad? También. ¿Qué le parece si le ponemos comentarios generales sobre el entrenamiento? Podría ser para finalizar, Comments ¿verdad? About Está training. Bueno. Ajá. Y ahí le ponemos eso que usted me está diciendo. Comments about training. Ok. Okay, good. So that means I'm going I'm going to finish, okay, the the activity now. Okay. okay, Welcome back. Okay. How was the activity? 
Did you finish? Yes, yes teacher. It was great. Okay, good. So, I have, let me see, four groups. Tell me, who will be uh, the first one? If you want to be volunteer, please let me know. We are ready, teacher. Okay, good. So, I'll give you the chance to, to share your screen. And you can explain uh, the <clears throat> evaluation, evaluation survey that you create. Explain the reason why you create that uh, questions and um, how will be evaluated. Okay, give me a moment, please. Okay. You can see? Yes, we can see. Okay, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So we we are going to talk about uh, student practice training. We want to talk about this because I talked with Roberto that in my case, two weeks ago, I received a capacitation of that. So for him and for me, it's interesting, this training. So for we want to evaluate the training, we make a survey and we are going to develop the, the questions mm -hmm. because in the, when, in the, in, when develop the, the training, they receive a, a lot of um, themes, for example, food or materials. So we are going to evaluate those things. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first question. That is, how do you evaluate the information received in the training? We have the options, excellent, good, or not bad. The other question is, did you receive the handouts with the correct information? In this way, we have just two questions, two, two options, that is yes or no. The third question, how did you, how did you evaluate the food in the training? Because in our training, we receive food. So we want to evaluate that part. And the options are excellent, good, or bad. Okay. And the other one, did you receive the tools from the shooting practice? Because when in the in the in the shooting practice, we receive some tools for we for the participants or the employees can develop the activity. So the, the two options are yes or no. So it's going to follow Roberto. Okay, good evening. Good evening. I am continuing with the following question. Okay, uh, the following question is, how was your experience in the range? Uh, this question is about the experience in the training. Uh, it's possible the training is good or bad for that reason. We have three three options to evaluate uh, about the question. Number one, amazing, uh, fearful, and boring. Uh, and the the following question: Did you receive support from the coach? This um, this question is very important too, because when we we attend to to seminary or or training. It's very important to receive information about the topic. In this case, did you receive support from the coach? Yes or no? It's very important because if the coach 
uh, doesn't doesn't give the correct information or little. Yeah, it's very important uh, to know about the the information shared in the in the training. Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> will you will you like receive another training? Um, with this question, it's very important too because um, maybe different people are are very interested in in receive another another training uh, with different topic. For that reason, it's important do the 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 question. Would you like would you like receive another training? Yes or not. In the last one, <clears throat> which which of those training would you like to receive in the future? Uh, this is mass. The this this question is is more specific about the about the topic in the future. For example, personal defense, handle emotion, um, customer service. Um, this this topic is very important. Uh, to know uh, in the in the company or in your life in your, in your house in, in different place is inform is information very important to know about about this topic for 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 that reason uh, the last the last one question is very important and uh, in my opinion I I like I would like to receive handle emotion because um, in my in my world is very it very interesting different emotion with the people <laughs> okay i would like to receive personal defense ah uh, okay yes. <laughs> Excellent. do you provide this kind of trainings uh andres in your company do you offer yes. that kind of trainings everyone teacher oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> that's how yeah I I receive all of them. Okay, but I mean, for other people who wants to take the training, like, if, for example, if I want to take it, uh, do you In offer case, that? No, teacher. No. Just from the employees, so the security guards that work in the company. Yes, teacher. Oh, um, okay, okay, yeah. good. Well, thank you so much, guys. Very good. Uh, very good job. Okay, I can see. Just uh, spelling, okay? Be careful with the spelling. I, I saw uh, there are some words that are missing on so, uh, spelling, okay? Good. Very good. Okay. Uh, let me see who is next. Who wants to be next? Oh, Rodrigo, you did you share the, the form? Okay. Okay, who wants to be next? Volunteers? Don Gilberto está listo. Yes. Démosle pues. Vamos. <laughs> va, va a compartir okay. la, en la pantalla. Yes, that's right. Go. Okay. Can you see the my screen? Yes, we can see. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, we have um try to zoom uh the the four. Uh, yes, good. Okay. We have a, a survey for uh training effectiveness evaluation form and the um, participate como se dice participante. Par participants. The participant it was Don Gilberto. Okay. And the course title is Effective Sales Closing, and it was this day. And the trainer, it was Marta Gonzalez. The location, it was in the Capital Hotel. The instructions are answer the following questions about the training, and please be free to comment any aspect that you may consider important to improve. Please consider that one is the lowest grade and five is the highest. Good. Okay. okay. Just be careful with the spelling of training. It's missing okay. one. 
one letter there. Okay, good. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, how you lay, how, how, uh, how, how you raise the ever, ever quality in the training? Uh, my partner, uh, the evaluation excellent. Uh, in question two, how well did the, the training key the session interesting? Uh, the evaluation scale four. And, and how well did the, the program recommended your background and me? The evaluation rating scale five. And, and how and how effective were the how down uh, the evaluation rating K five because uh, very important reward the the idea the the curve through uh, uh, how convenient what the location and writing K three uh, because um, a very difficult uh, the partner translation uh, the 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 city San Miguel uh, to San Salvador. Uh, in other case, the city of Sultan uh, to San Salvador is di very, di uh, very difficult. Uh, my, my partner, but through Asian. Okay, how do you evaluate the recreation spaces at five? Uh, how do you evaluate the quality of the resources used? In the presentation for uh, what level of, of application does the program have in your work? Five, how do you evaluate the performance of the trainer? Uh, three, and comments about training, the location, it wasn't convenient because it was so far to the most bigger part of the branch. Uh, that was what the Gilberto says, and what other training would you like to deepen? Uh, yes, I'm interested in neurosales, neurosales training. And we have a couple more of mistakes because we have training with um, it missing a letter and background too. And I think we have another mistake in other word here, but I I don't remember right now, but that's it. Okay, Thank but you. but it's good because you recognize them, okay? Yeah. The, yes, you can you can fix them. Okay, really good. I like it. I like this template. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, Gilberto, when you say when you talk about trasladarse de un lugar a otro, you don't say translate. You, what is the that what is the word that you use? I'm sorry. Can you please repeat it? Yeah. Translate, uh, you know, read, yeah. Okay, that and, is and move. Okay, you're going to use move. 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 Move from one place to other. That The one that you are saying, I guess, you are, uh, se la está inventando usted. <laughs> búsquela, <laughs> búsquela porque, uh, um, and let me know if that exists because I don't, I don't, I don't have that, okay? That will be move from one place to another one, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Um, and then, well, you know that you need to uh, still improve your pronunciation, 
Okay, Gilberto, try to work on it. Uh, when you have time on weekends, try to read, okay? Read a lot and, and record your voice in your cell phone, okay? And then listening back to you, listen to you and you will recognize, okay, uh, maybe what you need to improve, okay? But try to do the best to practice. In that way, you're going to have better results. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, number, group number um, two, what is Rodrigo and Silvia? Ready? Hey, teacher. Silvia, are you ready? Mute, Silvia. Hello, Silvia. Hello, I really. I I will share my my screen. Uh, Silvia, uh, please uh, please uh, fulfill our our work. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you can if you can see my my screen. Yes, we can see it now. Okay. Well. This is our uh, our work with Silvia. It's about for a training that she received about uh, of industrial bearing. Bearing is, is is in Spanish is valeros, uh, but Silvia have much more knowledge about this. <laughs> no, Silvia, please tell us about this, and uh, I will I will feel your opinion about your training. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, but the training is important in my job. Uh, my, my training is uh, the Valero. It is the training. Uh, La capacitación fue de Costa Rica, la última que recibí. There is the Costa Rica. Eh, my. Eh, is the excellent in how do you consider the content of the training? Is the excellent information for me? But I am customer service. Eh, Sería nivel nacional of the El Salvador. Eh, pues fue muy importante. Eh, if the training field your expectative, yes, I am. Eh, my expectative is the only important for my job. Uh, did you receive didactic material for the this training, live book, brochure, etc., etc.? Et it's it. <laughs> ah, well. Is the digital material uh, where did the uh, receive the training? Is online. <laughs> You received the after your job? Yes. How did you raise your training? Master, allotropy, perfect, process, sufficient to trace. Now, about that you get S master. All Master all the topics is about the, the the trainer or the expositor. It's a total the master dominates all master. the topics. <laughs> the expositor is master. How do you recommend uh, this training? Yes. How do you recommend the training? Yes. Improve your course. Uh, feedback to improve this course, uh, your opinion, want to add, to eliminate something of this course? Uh, 
very bad to improve the courses is that my courses is important for me in the customer service in my job. Uh, I am a customer service a never nationality El Salvador. It's important I am only a customer service uh, in El Salvador. Okay. okay. So teacher, this is this is our job. Okay, very good. That was good, good, good topic. And I'm really sorry for the noise, guys, but I guess it's uh, uh where is Sylvia? Is that correct, Sylvia? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, I understand. Sorry. Um Thank you so much. That was really good. I didn't find any uh, observation there, but it was really good. Just for you, Silvia, the same that I told Gilberto, okay? So you know your witnesses and your strength. So please work on your witnesses, okay? So if you consider that you need to practice more, Try to practice, but with yourself, okay, in front of the mirror, okay. We can we can practice to mm, desenredar esa lengua, right? So, and, <laughs> and, yes, and then you can when once that you um we don't feel like um sorry, <laughs> perdón, pero es que no solo yo estoy en mi <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. That is part of the process, okay? I und I understand. Believe me, that I I understand perfect perfectly everyone, because I have been there. Okay, everybody has been there in that position where you are right now. But if you want uh, to be a master, if you want to speak very well the language, um, you will do it. Okay, you will do it. One one day you will do it, and that will be soon. But uh, try to do the best, okay? Okay. Good. Thank good. you. Thank you, Rodrigo Morales. Okay, very good. Thank you, both of you. Okay, and finally, we have Maria Leticia, Katy, and Maria. Eh, Ma Daniela, Katy, and Maria Leticia. I'm sorry. Ready, okay. guys? Mm -hmm. Girls? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can share your screen. Okay. We're going to spend the last uh, six minutes with that presentation. And on Monday, we're going to work in the other two homeworks and the final exam. And also a survey that we have the last day. Okay. And a review. If you have questions for Monday, just prepare them and we're going to answer them, okay? Okay. Good. Try to zoom your survey a little bit. Zoom. Hagan un poquito más grande. Ahí, yes. Good. Okay, this should be training for these instructions are complete the following evaluation about the training you received on the quality provided by the company. The, quest the question are How would you write the over quality of this instruction? How will this, the presenter say the objective? Uh, okay, Kati or Daniela. Okay. Um. The question says like this, and 
And how well did the present keep the session alive and interesting? What is your overall rating of the presenter? How, how well did this program accommodate your background, background and need? Next. Um, okay, um, next, how if it were the hot dogs? How convenience was the location? Will be evaluated as excellent. Um, what is the word? Excellent, good, fire, or rebut. Okay, very good. Effective. Repeat that, Effect. please. Got the effect. effective. Effective. Okay. Effective. How effective were the handouts? Okay. And uh, other word, uh, Daniela, alive. Alive. Mm -hmm. Alive. Okay. Okay. Alive. How well did the, the, the presenters keep the exceptions? Alive and interesting. Okay. okay. It means uh, if you were... Uh, if you were active, okay, good. I don't know um, how do you evaluate my class, okay, but mm -hmm. uh, well, I try, I try that you at least stay alive, okay, but it is your decision if you want to participate, if you want to stay alive and, and active in my class. The, for the rest, I understand if you have any inconvenience or, or any other reason right, that you may have, I understand. Okay, good. Um, well, I guess we have time. No, we don't have one minute, just one minute. Okay, no problem. So we're going to, to leave it there. Thank you so much because you already present. Oh, let me, let me share my screen because I'm not sharing now. Good. Thank you so much because you already exchanged your checklist, okay, and this and you already present them. We didn't discuss like the difference between them, but I like all of them, okay. So I like that you have been uh using Google Forms and Canva, okay. Now you are a master doing checklists. Good. Um. Thank you so much for the explanation of each one. Okay, we can call checklist or or survey, so they are the same basically. And then the homework nineteen and twenty will be done on Monday, as I said. Okay, for Monday we have these two homework, the final exam and the survey. They go that you are going to take, and a review, of course, of the unit four. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your attendance today, your participation. I really appreciate that um, you are here today. That is Friday. Thank you so much for your time and see you on Monday. Take care, okay? Have a hey, nice teacher. Have a nice have a good week. weekend. You too. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night.